Leroican. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slain alien. <gasps> the firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel sadness. Why? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, Tiefling, you did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Roken is dead. The bastard is dead. I am. Now that the bastards and bits. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night, he'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just as do I. I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. Oh, it'll take longer than if I had a master, but I won't entrust my fate to another. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this, the tower, my family, without you. What can I do to thank you? And what's mine is yours. Take what you please. I leave only the books and scrolls. But know this. Ramazeth's tower and its master are now your friends. And when the time comes, we will stand by you as allies. My boot craves the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. What am I to do? Which way to the nearest library? <laughs>
I will return to camp shortly. One with the weave. Let's move. is warranted here. Dr. Wizards. 
as Ramazith, Elminster, Silverhand, and Carsus. The animal behind his door. We're a long way from Waterdeep. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. At least things have stayed interesting. of Carsus, the preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. 
It contains Cassus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Gods have ascended through far stranger means. A circle drawn on a globe, a walk in a swamp, the destruction of a magical stone. Why not with a symbol of such innate authority? The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carthus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. Do not mistake the crown itself for the actions of its wearer, or rather, those controlling its wearer at present. If we could restore its former glory, it would no longer be a mere leash and collar used to subjugate friend or foe. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacked some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra, intimately. And I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Cast has achieved many things, hmm. but he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please. At least... I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith. Even the most loyal of companions might struggle to land gracefully. It's been so long feeling... inferior. Shut out from my destiny over... Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. That's all I ask. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything.
something rude. Birthday boy's just nervous, but don't worry. Everyone in Charesse's caress deserves a professional. Says, what? No time to rest. No time to talk, I'm afraid. Expecting someone. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her, given the chance. Enjoying a lungful of bull durian air. <laughs> yeah, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> um, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Perhaps it would have been better to keep that particular opportunity between ourselves. The crown of Carsus? No, Gail. It's for the best that I know. I trust there's no need to remind you what came of Carsus. His folly humbled a whole civilization. No one seeks an encore of that. Does she speak true, Gail? You truly believe yourself capable of wielding Carsus's crown? Perhaps she does. Would you begrudge me the chance to make things right, Elminster? Of course not. And the time has come for precisely that. Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Mistra's willing to speak to me again. Was this your doing, Elminster? She knows what I see in you, just as I know what she sees in you. I was not born an old man. I know all too well what it's like to have a goddess fill your heart with longing. Looking at you is like gazing into a mirror that shows centuries long past. 
The past is the past, Elminster. And the future is, well, still to be decided by me, not by Mistra. If there is another way, I trust you can find it. The crown is not the answer. I promise you that. If you will not hear it from me, hear it from your goddess. Uh, what truths she has to offer are for your ears alone. Gale of Waterdeep. <laughs> Godspeed. So all it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is, if it's important enough to send Elminster, we can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. After you. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. So, Mistress requested a chat with Gale. Unusually polite for a god. I do hope it goes well. We've pissed off enough gods already. Well, obviously I would. But you have so many... Excellent. It is a fine thing to walk with friends beneath the warming sun. The 
friends might be a stretch, but otherwise, yes, I fully agree. You might have your cloudy locks to keep the heat off your head. But do not forget that Minsk has boo. We will be like twins, eh? We will? God! Two hundred years and I've never missed seeing my reflection more. Mistress Lux. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. And the courage to resist. So many Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. Of course, my child, within limits. Behold my wares. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a goddess waiting. Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the... Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. Hmm, you're right. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. Wait for me. Please.
Dale of Waterdeep. You look well. Mistra. I never thought we'd speak again like this. Why am I here? There is much unsaid between us, but time runs ever short. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Karsis. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? I didn't want to die. And when I saw the Crown, I thought I might not have to, if I only understood its power. And you believe you have the right to such an understanding? The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. It couldn't have been. I only wished to prove myself worthy. I had no idea. You were already worthy. What you lacked was patience. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps, with each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. I won't let you down again. Thank you. May the Weave's light guide your purpose and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders Gale of Waterdeep, I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear. soil once more. I can't believe I saw it. <laughs> Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. The Carsite Weave. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Hmm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, at least now I'm armed with the truth. And Mistress' expectations. Once I bring the crown of Carsus to her, I can put everything right. The orb, too. I'll be myself again. For all that's worth. Thank you. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. Fewer still who would do so because they believed I deserved such a chance. If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? Oh, 
welcome. If you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. What do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? No matter what the Gazette says, I just hope Lord Gortash protects us when it counts. Do you know how hard it was to get those cabbages into the city? No, you impossible. The lower cities are bloody warren. I'm surprised anyone can find their way around. Smell that, right? Bloody rotten it is. What about the smell? It stinks. It's something rotten. Probably just a dead cat. <laughs> something over the chimneys. can probably read. Can I interest you in um, uh, a copy of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette? Please buy one. I knew that's all. I just need to practice. It's a really good paper though. No spelling mistakes in it or anything. Thank you. My first sale. I can't wait to tell Mole. Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous of he. Gets people killed. It is true. Boo has slain many who have greeted him so impolitely. On the half orc's finger, you notice an unusual ring. Heavy and with a strange symbol carved on its surface. Scurry away, Gubuk before I crash you. You recall seeing this symbol on crates marked for Nine Fingers Keen, leader of the guild. The thug works for her. Oi, stop staring, start walking, last chance. You're here to see Nine Fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscon. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine Fingers is inside. In you go. Before I change my mind. there. Bad time to come visiting, my friend. This is Zentrum territory now. Just as soon as we've purged it of guild rats. Nothing personal.
Who says smite? That means I must hit you very hard, I think. 